For unto us a child is born, unto us a son is given. Merry Christmas and Happy New Year. God bless you all. Oh, kami semua mengucapkan selamat hari Natal dan tahun baru dan semoga damai Natal menyertai kita semua. Hi, we would like to wish you all Merry Christmas and Happy New Year. May the joy and peace of Christmas be with you all through the New Year. Wishing you a season of blessings from heaven above. Merry Christmas and Happy New Year. God bless you. For unto you is born this day in the city of David a Savior who is Christ the Lord. We wish you all Merry Christmas. Heavenly Father, thank you for being lovely and wonderful to us through Jesus Christ. Thank you for Christmas moment that you gave to all of us during the pandemic COVID time. Now Lord, we are going to learn more about you through your words. Help us Lord in understanding. In Jesus name we pray. Amen. Shalom First Baptist Church Sunday School children. 
This is a busy time of the year, right? Full of hustle and bustle. We just celebrated Christmas and New Year's just around the corner. But then, as the Christians, we should not stop at the celebration only. We need to take a chance to do our ministry as Christ's follower at home, at church, and every places we are going. Could we stand firm in Christ? Today, we will learn from Paul and Barnabas who found it challenging to live for Jesus. Let's find out about their circumstances and how they were able to stand firm. We will read from Acts 14 together and I want you to mark on the map given to you or if you couldn't print the map, you may write down in order the name of the city where Paul and Barnabas visited in their ministry time. Act chapter 14 At Iconium, Paul and Barnabas went as usual into the Jewish synagogue. There, they spoke so effectively that a great number of Jews and Greeks believed. But the Jews who refused to believe stirred up the other Gentiles and poisoned their minds against the brothers. So, Paul and Barnabas spent considerable time there, speaking boldly for the Lord, who confirmed the message of His grace by enabling them to perform signs and wonders. The people of the city were divided, some sided with the Jews, others with the apostles. There was a plot happening among both Gentiles and Jews, together with their leaders, to ill-treat them and stone them. But they found out about it and fled to the Lycaonian cities of Lystra and Derby and to the surrounding country, where they continued to preach the gospel. In Lystra, there sat a man who was lame. He had been that way from birth and had never walked. He listened to Paul as he was speaking. Paul looked directly at him, saw that he had faith to be healed, and called out, Stand up on your feet! At that, the man jumped up and began to walk. When the crowd saw what Paul had done, they shouted in the Lycaonian language, the gods have come down to us in human form. Barnabas they call Zeus and Paul they call Hermes because he was the chief speaker. The priest of Zeus, whose temple was just outside the city, brought bulls and rats to the city gates because he and the crowd wanted to offer sacrifices to them. But when the apostles Barnabas and Paul heard of this, they tore their clothes and rushed out into the crowd, shouting, Friends, why are you doing this? We too are only human like you. We are bringing you good news, telling you to turn from these worthless things to the living God who made the heavens and the earth and the sea and everything in them. In the past, he let all nations go their own way, yet he has not left himself without testimony. He has shown kindness by giving you rain from heaven and crops in their seasons. He provides you with plenty of food and fills your heart with joy. Even with these words, they had difficulty keeping the crowd from sacrificing to them. Then some Jews came from Antioch and Iconium and won the crowd over. They stoned Paul and dragged him outside the city, thinking he was dead. But after the disciples had gathered around him, he got up and went back into the city, 
The next day, he and Barnabas left for the Abbey. They preached the gospel in that city and won a large number of disciples. Then they returned to Lystra, Iconium, and Antioch, strengthening the disciples and encouraging them to remain true to the faith. We must go through many hardships to enter the kingdom of God, they said. Paul and Barnabas appointed elders for them in each church and with prayer and fasting committed them to the Lord in whom they had put their trust. After going to Pisidia, they came into Pamphylia, and when they had preached the word in Persia, they went down to Italia. From Italia, they sailed back to Antioch, where they had been committed to the grace of God for the work they had now completed. On arriving there, they gathered the church together and reported all that God had done through them and how he had opened a door of faith to the Gentiles, and they stayed there a long time with the disciples. So children, we read that Paul and Barnabas faced some challenging situation in their ministry. People opposed and attacked them, but with God's strength, they faced those tough times and remained faithful to God. It can be tough to be a Christian when those around us are finding Christianity and God offensive. But God will give us the strength to stand firm in Christ. Jesus, thank you for the lesson today that remind us to be always stand firm in you, no matter what is the hard condition we face, especially in this pandemic of time. Able us, Lord, to be always stand firm in you. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Now we are going to make a reminder for ourselves to stand firm in Christ by making our own footprint and write the Bible memory from 2 Corinthians 1 verse 21. 
have a blessed Sunday everyone.